cool. They were going to watch movies and talk about them. I was like, ooh, goofy movie, step up, you know. You were like, um, no, big title name. I'm like, ooh. <laughs> I failed history. I can't do this. So I've seen all the step ups. I have seen every single one. There's like a, so you saw the, there's like a fifth and a sixth one. I didn't even know that. Yeah. Yeah, there shouldn't have been. They yeah. should have really stopped. <laughs> they should have stopped with Revolution. So I was like, Revolution step up Revolution. Like, yeah. That was step up super the, good. the afterlife. Step up reincarnation. Like, oh, it's I just, know. It's like Step Up versus Freddy right. at this point. <laughs> step Up featuring the Cheetah Girls. Like, mm-hmm. I'm for it. No, no, no. I don't care. I'm fucking for it. Uh, you're listening to Thanks Academy, the, the podcast where you watch all the best picture winners of all time mm-hmm. in random order with random friends. Today's random friend is Leah Sampson. Hello. And we are not. <laughs> Not watching Step Up, no, or the Cheetah Girls. So I'm not really excited. But no. I was I lo- wondering if there's any Academy Award winning movie that was like in that genre, though. Like Flash Dance didn't. Like, is there a dance movie? Probably not. Not um, like a movie with dancing. There's plenty of that shit. I mean, like a dance movie. Well, there was Moonlight. Wasn't there a dance scene in that? I haven't seen it. Oh well, the Oscars and people loved it. So yeah, but I thought that was I thought La La Land was the one with dancing. Oh, that is, oh, we forgot about they're not important. I don't care. I said it. La La, La Land was the one with the dancing and moonlight. They Why were like, was let's give it to a real movie? Right. <laughs> <laughs> they're like we appreciate the gay concept, but they're black. Let's go with the happy white people dancing and shit. And then oops, nope. Nope, that's right. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait we got an email we got to go with the black people that are gay yeah, cool yeah, let's yeah. do that which I know this isn't about the podcast isn't about that but I haven't really seen Moonlight but um, yeah. I thought it was such a great um, I haven't seen it but the concept is great and I know I'm like kind of like Brr, but I, I liked it because um, that is a real thing like yeah. but first of all being gay that's there's so many layers to all that you yeah. know but to, to be a um, you know in the hood and as a black, like, you know, you, you grow up in, like, that thug hood community. Yeah. That's not, a, yeah, you, you being, and there's plenty of gay men that are in that community, community, but it's like, no, you don't talk about that. Like, no, seriously, I haven't seen that one. I'm kind of, I've had opportunities, but I've actually not watched it so that I can watch it first mm-hmm. time for the podcast. Um, but I have seen Tangerine, which is kind of a similar yeah, I've movie. Heard of it's not, I don't think any, no, there's like one black character in that, but it's similar, like, yeah. kind of growing up in, like, rough neighborhoods mm-hmm. where you're not even gay, and like, what's it like to be trans? Right. And like, what what are the assumptions? Mm-hmm. The, and it's intense. Of and, course, yeah. It makes so, me feel just glad to be a bouge. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers to being a bouge! Yes. <laughs> the safety of yes, privilege. Yes, absolutely. Wins again. We do what we want. <laughs> So we're going to watch the movie from the year before Spotlight won. Or bef- no, we're going to watch Spotlight from the year before Moonlight won. Okay. We were on a light. We're on a, a Like light. Spotlight, Moonlight. Spotlight, light, light. Fish light. Shit's bright. That shit was it's all year. bright. Yeah, it's yeah, all yeah. bright. It's all bright and beautiful. Do we're you know gonna... anything about what Spotlight's about? Not at all. Mm-hmm. I hope, I really hope it's about. What do you think it's about? I- it's transgender coming out. <laughs> Since we're all the same, I feel like Moonlight and all the other light movies have that in common. I hope it's about a beautiful no boy that is, you know. We were gonna watch Amadeus. Is that what that is? Oh. Which is about Mozart. Oh, is Since it? he's wearing a wig and, and frilly clothes. See, I'm too into that type of stuff. I think that's Karina. the closest that the academy ever came to like a trans narrative probably. Was probably just which is really surprising the the academy likes like raw yeah. real life stuff i want to say crying game was nominated and crying game doesn't hold up politically it still holds up as a good movie but like, i wish i could hold up this conversation about movies you don't know crying game no oh boy you should, and tell like you, you chose a good one karina you chose a good one that was this that was i know the batman dark knight hey <laughs> Guess who's in this movie we're about to watch? <gasps> Batman. The first one. They're not, both high. Not Christian Bale. Yeah. They're both high. I don't care. <laughs> yeah, I yeah. am. Michael Keaton. That's about all I know about this Yay. movie. Okay. I know what it's about, but I want to hear what you think. Okay, so let's let's get into the brain mm-hmm. of Academy Award voters. What do you think they picked? What kind of movie Spotlight. called Spotlight do you think they picked to be the best picture from that year that everybody should see? And you said it's political, right? Or it's yes. kind of like we were comparing it to another war so, movie, so it's war okay. or politics. It, it is politics. Give me that clue. So what I'm thinking is maybe because we all know the government and politics are all corrupted, and there's a whole different world in that world. It possibly is about some things that we never knew 
coming to the spotlight, you know, things being, people being exposed, things being exposed, people slipping up and getting caught on their shit, you know? Yes. So I'm excited. I'm I'm with it. That (laughs) is, as far as I know, exactly what this is. Uh, It's just a matter of finding out what the topic is. Right. Um, But yeah, I like, I was, you know. Hopefully, people get exposed real hard in this movie. Oh yeah, well, there's definitely gonna be nude scenes in this. I'm guessing. <laughs> I, I, I hope. Uh, if, there, <laughs> if there are with this subject matter, it'll be illegal. So oh, I'll give you that hint. Which is why I was voted for Academy Award. Yeah. <laughs> That's exactly what it is. That's oh exactly. my god! So you don't? You're not a big movie buff. So what's crazy? It's like I don't watch. What well, my I have an attention span of that, as you and many people will figure out from this podcast, but. <laughs> I, I can't watch something unless it's like, and doesn't that mean it's good? But if it's super duper duper interesting the yeah. whole time, yeah. then I'll watch it for like you know two three hours. But I, my brain just cannot watch something for a long time, and then mm-hmm. at the end of the movie, be like, oh, it's because the movie's like reading a book, and I don't really read a lot, which I should. Mm-hmm. I, I should read more. I just my brain it just doesn't. Yeah, like yeah. That. I'm actually similar in that. If if I'm watching something alone, I will tune out. Exactly. I will go yeah. to my phone. I will go to the bathroom if I get to pause for no movie. reason. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I like. I, that's one of the reasons I like watching these movies this way is because it forces me to sit mm-hmm. down. Um, but what at the minute a movie starts to drag, and I'm sure people have listened to episodes know this. This the minute a movie starts to drag, I start bitching. Mm-hmm. I'm like, nah. I'm bitching at, at the opening credits. Like, <laughs> I'm already yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Oh, what's happening? What's going on? <laughs> And I'm like, I consider myself a patient person who does treat a lot of books and all that. But just movies, for whatever reason, I don't have that patience yeah. for. I'm like, no, you you keep me engaged mm-hmm. all the time or you get out of my way. Exactly. I think it's comedy. I think it's just like that's yeah, comedy totally. training of like, oh, you are bombing right now. Yeah. <laughs> you breathed for three seconds. Yeah. yeah, you're trash. Get the fuck off stage. Get the fuck off stage. Get that's, some confidence. No, yeah. Right. That's yeah. how I, I... It's funny you say that because that's how I purposely try to... I try to perform comedy based on the kind of comedy that I like. Yeah. If you... If... if if my brain wanders for two seconds, yeah. and that's my problem, that's not the comics problem. But yeah. if my brain wanders for two seconds, I'm like, I, yeah, I quit. I don't. I want, I'm not here anymore. I don't care what you have to say anymore. You're not funny. You're garbage. Kill yourself. Like I'm just crazy. Like my brain is just like, no, I don't want it. But it's like that's not realistic. Like, yeah, you know what I mean. That's not realistic at all. I feel like a lot of people listening to this are probably like thinking we're awful people. Of course. But here's the thing, like, we're just people. Yeah. And that's just a different, like, there's nothing wrong with pushing art no, to be engaging constantly. No. I, it creates better, stronger art, I think. Now, obviously, some people really like atmosphere. Right. And, like, lay in the swimming well, pool. Well, that's the beauty of, of art. That's yeah. the beauty of art. That's the beauty of, oh, specifically, I guess, comedy is there's no, and I always talk about this, and I will forever because this is perfect. I remember I saw this, um, uh, interview with uh, Jerry Seinfeld and yeah. I can't remember who was interviewing him but they were like so who's the best co- like who's the best comedian what's the and, and Jerry was like there's, that doesn't exist that's there's, true there's, yeah. there's no such thing as the best comedian and the best type of comedy I mean there's all types of stuff there's all mm-hmm. types of comedy there's some people that like dramatic comedy there's some people that like uplifting comedy I mean the, you know so it's like for us to want there to be more yeah. and to keep us engaged the whole time we're not terrible people that's just the kind of style that we prefer Exactly. What I've noticed is, since this movie's from this decade, is that prestige movies from this decade include a healthy dose of comic relief, and I'm mm-hmm. here for that, because mm-hmm. some of these movies from the 80s, where they didn't do that, are drag. Depressing. Yeah, so I'm hoping there's some laughs. Uh, at those movies, they play at, like, pool halls after 12, 12 a.m. <laughs> I'm like, am I was, I'm drunk, but damn, I'm still sad. Like, this is not going the way I thought it should. This is so sad. Why is he doing that to her? Like, you know? Oh my god, I'm gonna have to pay attention to the grand more often. <laughs> I've seen some fucked up shit at the grand. <laughs> oh, why are y'all? There's no children here, but I feel like when watching this, why are y'all playing this? All right, let's watch Spotlight. Here we go. Yay. There's just like always six logos before movies start now. Let's I'm, count them. Let's see. That's three. That's three. Yeah. I kind of count as four. Yeah, that's really that's a lot going on. <laughs> Do we need all of that? 
five, four. four. I thought four that was being a Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I thought it was. Nah. <laughs> they fooled us. Yeah. Okay. This four. Is four. Okay, that's not too bad. Yeah. He <sighs> said it's Boston. Fun things happen in Boston, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's the most friendly city in America. It is. No racism or anything. No. How's that going? The mother's balling and the uncle's pissed off. She's not married? Divorced with four kids. I guess it's the father Thanksgiving. was helping out. Oh, good call. Helping out? <laughs> hey, Mr. Burke, they're in back talking to the bishop. And father? We put him in the break room. Any press? Some can cops do that? They can just smoke? In the the oh, Let's that's right, way. 76, sorry. Yeah. I forgot. Who's that? Date and time. Assistant DA. It's gonna be hard to keep the papers away from the arraignment. What arraignment? Huh. You can tell Father Gag I won't be much longer. No, she loved. You know what good work. Oh, you know who that is? Shit. No. That's homegirl from Mean Girls. The one that had the wide set vagina. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Wow. Messy hair? The mom, yeah. yeah. Look at her career booming. Oh my god. Damn, that's crazy. She still got that wide vagina. She still has the wide set vagina. <laughs> Damn, that's a nice, uh, like, almost hers. That's a good thing. See, for real. So it's Christmas. Oh, it was December. Okay. Yeah. I should probably pay attention. I don't know. It didn't say. Did it say? Yeah, it said December. Oh, okay. Spotlight. Okay, here we go. All right, so we saw priests and kids. And losing a good reporter. Now where this is going. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm losing one of our best. Uh, well, to put it as eloquently as I hey. can. It's a real kick it's in the ass. Mad guy. Mad Men. But uh, Robin here is known oh. to her. Oh. Our American Horror alive. Story? Yes, so yes. And, um, oh, Regina, oh, there's a the whole cast of Mean Girls in this movie. Yeah. That's Regina George. She's yeah. Cool. She's With, great. Uh, your reference to my seniority. I will say that Stuart's departure is uh, especially painful for me because uh, for what, Stuart? 20 years now? This looks like the meeting we had at Wells Fargo where we got busted for, <laughs> for scamming people. <laughs> There's really? a bunch of old white men that I didn't know. <laughs> That's awesome. I was like, uh-oh, gotta go to Chase. I find the uh, timing of your departure disconcerting. The corner office sits empty. The new editor arrives on Monday. So I'm sorry, buddy, but I gotta ask you, what the hell do you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I wonder how many more Mean Girls are going to show up. I know. I'm excited. I don't even care about the movie. Now I'm going to see any more Mean Girls. I hope it's Lacey Chabert. Yeah. Or Ariana Grande. Yeah. Oh, you're saving her? No, that's for mine. I can never hear those things. They kind of depress me. Can you see the numbers from Washington? Yeah, very interesting. No, I'm not asking to feed these lies. I know they're lying. All I'm asking is who's behind it. Hey, the Hulk. Oh, the Hulk. Every man in any Marvel movie turns me on. I don't know why. I think it's just the ability to do something unnatural. Look better than regular dudes. Yeah, I get it. Fuckery is natural to me, you know? Maybe. I just don't think the story's for us. Should I be worried about job security? I don't think so. You see... Knowledge is one thing, but faith. Is that the priest faith that they're going against? I have no idea. I'm guessing that it's is the priest. church. It's That's the priest. The, the priest, priest of the church. Yeah. Okay, because there's only one church in Boston. <laughs> if y'all didn't know. Gross. You didn't shower and now you're airing your pits out in the no. newsroom. You gross, gross person. <laughs> so inconsiderate. It's so gross. Is it's it's golfing or something? Golfing's not a verb. And I couldn't get a tea time. So they call it tea time. 
They also call it a leisure activity. You ever try it? Like, Him too. He went to fun. play golf. Yeah. He's wearing the same shirt. He went to work. Yeah. <laughs> They're gross. His alligator fell off of this. Budget cut. He gave yeah. a bunch of crap about it at the game. Yeah, Ben emailed me. He did? Yeah. He said we should let it go. What do you want to do? I'm going to break Saviano in. So, just ignore those guys? I think we got to start ignoring everybody on this one. I'm good at that. Yeah. Do you think Marty has this any idea? Hey, why do you stop scratching? Uh, no. He's being very unhappy. This is flaring up my eczema. I'm not happy about it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm scratching your head. Unless he's wrong. Uh, meanwhile, back at the church. <laughs> the church. I've always been fascinated. This was Oscar nominated. Yeah. I used to sit in on the <laughs> and even Okay, cool. I, uh, I heard that you were an editor once. Huh? Yes. Yeah, yeah. That's a very long time. Look at that change. That's a change. P register. <laughs> He records he got. I also see the newspaper. <laughs> Fucking Mr. T or whatever. Flavor Flav. It was a big responsibility. Flavor Flav would never change the little boys. I think. Also, <laughs> I'm not going to touch Flavor Flav. <laughs> I was close with the Evers brothers. Yeah. I'm going to go to the courthouse tomorrow, see if I can find any cases he settled against the church. Alright, call me after you do. Good night. Okay. Good night. Wow, hey. that's the first time I think I've seen a proper you know ending to a phone yeah. conversation yeah. in a movie. <laughs> I was just sure. thinking that. No awkward silence, it just no. ended. No, just weird. Both parties, yeah. yeah. Steve Kirchhoff, you know the Globe? Oh, that's two. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah, I think it's Boston. What are you, Italian? Italian. Um, Portuguese. Italian. From where? Uh, East Boston. Really? East Boston? You don't sound like it. This city. These people. Is that like when people are like, oh, Leah, you're black, but you, you sound like, like you're from... Not, yeah. 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 <laughs> like, sorry, I can read a book. Well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. I apologize. <laughs> Mark, you, you, you don't sound black. You don't sound black. black. <laughs> like what? It takes a village no, I don't sing Negro spirituals all the time. I don't do that. Sorry. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> For real. Your brother? You're a barber? No. What's with all these she people's is noses? Is that, that like an Irish her. thing? The schnoz? Slodge, slodge. You're going to stop this, Robbie. Stop it. Damn. Damn. Shit. I thought we were friends. I'm saying that. <laughs> we were friends in the first scene. <laughs> Not no more. Uh -huh. Damn. It's getting real. Mr. Hanson. Yeah. Ambush. Hi. Guys, Me again. I don't have any time to talk right now. Please. 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 We've got a story about degenerate clergy. And we've got a story about a bunch of lawyers turning child abuse into a cottage industry. Right. Now, which story do you want Corporate us to write? number one. Because we're writing one of them. I already sent you the list of names. What are you talking about to whom? The Globe. Years ago. After the Porter case, I got plenty of calls. I had 20 priests in Boston alone, but I couldn't go after them without the press. So I sent you guys a list of names, and you buried it. 
I want those names tomorrow. Where are those receipts? Oh, damn, he's so hot, I can't be mad. I know. I want to be angry, but I can't. He's so hot. Uh, Where are those receipts? Oh, shit. Damn, he's so hot, I can't be mad. I know. I want to be angry, but I can't. He's so hot. mess? Gross. Hulk. What are you doing? Don't He's a news you editor. Are <laughs> you pull dicks out of a fire when you're doing <laughs> this story? <laughs> Especially when it would chill your bread around. That's just disrespectful. Jesus. Let's try to separate the two. So it's tricky. It is tricky. Yeah. Click. Cool. Is this real? Damn, they are taking up on everybody. Oh man, look at those old ass chairs. He does have a woman in his life, so I get it. Who is it? He lied. It's the Archbishop of Canterbury. And dinner at has some leftovers. Oh, I'm in the freaking best. Want a hot dog? You got it. I know I did, but this is Boston, and the church does not want them to be found, so mm. they are not there. Mm. Oh my the god. The church is behind all this church. shit. They know what's From going the on. They're not stupid. They just keep it all hush. I'm not crazy. I'm not paranoid. I'm experienced. Uh, Check the docket. You'll see. Damn. They control everything. Well, they stole that shit. Mm -hmm. Everything. I gotta go back. Damn. The priest is the only thing that makes up the church. Yeah. Oh, he's running. Go, ho, go. Go, <laughs> go, ho, go. <laughs> oh, he's ready. Oh, damn. Lost <laughs> <laughs> your bag. Where'd you go? Docket entry number 49. That's in the gig entry. Okay. Wow. 10 minutes. 10 minutes? So you can just get documents on anything and anyone whenever you want to? Yeah, if it's public record, you just can't take it out of the courthouse. Shut the fuck up. Yeah, I used to sit there with a notepad and just copy it word for word. That is crazy. You can't take pictures either. Right. Yeah. So you have to be smart to like... You have yeah. to get the info. Yeah. Right. Damn. And you gotta register the log so people saw that you saw it. Damn. I did this for um, the drive to theater in Santa Cruz. Hey, hey, the owner was hey, molesting people in the projection booth for here, decades. Here. Some of the sealed docs are already public. Part I had to like do part. all of this shit. He said they're the best of the bunch. We don't have to wait for Jeez. three So we can get them? Yeah, but they're not there. I already talked to Albino. He said all we have to do is file a motion and we will order mm. Mitch to refile the docs. And you think these documents are... He said these 14 docs are all we need. They're huge. Okay. I'll call Ben. Good work. Hey, well, hey, well I was like, this is definitely 2002. Yeah. They knew, and they let it happen to kids. Okay? It could have been you. It could have been me. It could have been any of us. We gotta nail these scumbags. We gotta show people that nobody can get away with this. Not a priest or a cardinal or a freaking pope. You finished? Oh, shit. Yeah, I am. This is bullshit. Oh, shit. Fuck. Go hog. Okay. Ooh! Woo! You got water? Cool. <laughs> shit. So we got some Pedialyte. <laughs> this is good. This is really good. Are you? Yeah, <laughs> but <laughs> you were in the opening credits. I don't yeah.
all of his clients. Oh shit. Let's get it right. Oh shit. It's just like the end of Lost in Translation. Hell yeah. This is like when you meet up with the side chick your boyfriend's fucking around with and she shows you all of their text messages. Yeah. He circled all of them? He circled all of them. Damn. Damn! He might as well have written on the back. For real, all of them. <laughs> you missed oh, some <laughs> shit. <laughs> Damn. Damn. Yeah, that's good to know. Thanks, Pete. Anything? Conley said to Don Morris he should have called. He just left. Like and those cases are closed, yeah. so he can tell them whatever at this point, right? They said the idiots not to. I would love to see their faces when they read this thing, man. You know, Sunday is the feast of the epiphany. That seems appropriate. Is it? But of course it is. Probably six hundred store Jesus. Oh my lord! Damn, it's like two a day. Oh what? No. Two hundred and four. Oh. What the he served as two cardinal law Oh, uh, yeah, he did. I remember that. He and he's now the like cardinal in Rome. Yep. Damn. Yeah. Uh oh. Uh oh. Shut the fuck up. Yeah. Fort Worth, not surprised. Denver. That's my hometown. San Antonio. Should I not say this all out? Yeah, yeah. Stockton, <laughs> California. <laughs> Basically everywhere in the world, <laughs> every city and state in the fucking world. Holy shit, that was intense. What the fuck? That was way more intense than I thought it was gonna like, be. Like I'm really happy I didn't wear a wig because I'd be sweating my shit <laughs> off right now. Like that was so. That was at first I was like, this is really complicated. I can barely right. follow it. But then like once I got hooked in, I was like, no, you didn't photocopy those documents. What? Yeah, I, it, it made it made me realize I'm, I'm a lot smarter with paperwork than I thought I was. Because <laughs> yeah. I was kind of understanding what was happening. I was like, "No, that's not legal. You can't do that. You can't steal that. No. Yeah, that was crazy. Like, it makes me not want to hate men as much <laughs> because now I'm like, oh, you do go through stuff. Okay, so just." The spotlight team. Who who was it? it was Mustache Regina it was Mustache, George? Mustache Regina George. The yeah. Hulk and the Batman. Hulk. Yeah. And what was the other? What'd you say? Batman. Batman. Yeah. Damn. That's what a team. Yeah. That's seriously. the fucking Avengers, and they did that shit. <laughs> wow. I'm. Okay. Well, don't be Catholic in no. Boston. <laughs> you know what? Honestly, I remember when this came out. Um, like when it hit really hard uh, in Boston, then it, like of course, like every other city looked into it right and came out with their own story within a year or two uh that was what dropped me I man was out. i was i was out for good yeah yeah I because was like, it's one of those things it's like sure there's stereotypes and this and that and the other but it's like if everyone is saying the same thing mm -hmm. about something mm -hmm. there's some truth to it it's still happening it of course killed, yeah. it killed ireland Absolutely. i mean ireland um, was like all 100 percent catholic and like since mm -hmm. this shit hit the fan they've like legalized abortion mm -hmm. and gay marriage yep. And like basically, they try to wipe religion. away all yeah, evidence. Yeah, they wash their hands of that stuff. Damn. Yeah, it's um, that was good though. That was that was, that was good. Yeah. For a person that has a short attention span as I do, I I was intrigued the whole time. Not because half the cast was fuckable, but but they were. They yeah, were. It was, a very, it was a fuckable cast, and what helped was that they were fighting against the, the unfuckable. People. Exactly. So like, you got that rooting interest. It was just this like a like a chocolate coated pretzel. It was like big dick energy just yep. slathered all mm -hmm. over. You got the sweet and the salty. <laughs> I enjoyed it very much. Who was sweet and who was salty? I feel like both parties, but definitely who was salty were the pet files and. <laughs> Who was? Oh, sweet. I thought you were talking about like on the team. Like there was, the Hulk was salty Hulk, and sweet. Hulk, Hulk was a little. Batman was salty. Batman was. Regina salty. was sweet because mm -hmm. she hung up the dude's coat. I, I peeped that. Yes, I would not that. have done that. I'm not your wife. Well, she was in the way. She. I think she. You know how to move. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, I would have walked up. 
<laughs> oh, you need to hang up your shit? Okay, let me move out the way. <laughs> we both have rings. We know what the fuck this is. I'm not your wife. But she was sweet for that, so I give her the sweet. Well, yeah, yeah. They work together, I'm they sure. They did. I'm sure he's gotten her coffee or Absolutely. some shit. He's, he's, pr- he's, baited, he's baited himself. That's why I can't months. work in places like that, because I take yeah. shit too seriously. I feel like if you were a dude with a mustache and you give me coffee, you want to fuck. Oh, really? Yeah, even if you're a wife. We could talk about it, but like, I just feel like... Is it the mustache? It's both the gesture and okay. the mustache. So, dude, without a mustache, getting you... Completely... Oh, it's a creep. Com- complete fucking creep. Totally creep. Get a- get away from me. <laughs> get away from me. You don't have any facial hair. Get the fuck out of my face. <laughs> this is terrible. My boss offers me coffee all the time. I turn it down. Does he have a mustache? Yeah, he's got a beard. <sighs> Oh, he shot off, fuck. Sorry, I no, hope he's not listening. No, 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 no. Oh, because he has like a cat or something? He, he's aware that I'm off I'm off his team. Mm. Yeah. And, but what's funny is he also aware I don't drink coffee. Because he's trying to Oh, no. Yes. No. He, quit, he gets you coffee and you don't drink coffee. Offers. He offers. He offers. Because he wants coffee. you to be like, no, but we can get tea together. <laughs> Alone, but you never say it, so you keep fishing. Men like to chase, Karina. There's nothing sexy about tea. I know Karate Kid too trying to make that a thing, but there's nothing sexy about tea. Mm -hmm. Well, I like to think that tea makes like detoxes you, so maybe that Mm -hmm. can be sexy. Like a dude that drinks tea is detoxed, and maybe he. That's sexy in that, like, we've been married 30 years. Let's right. get clean for each other. We're trying go, yoga. Let me go in there and wash things. my ass for you. Mm. Kind of, that, that's that kind of Well, sexy. I'm like 12, so I'm not even thinking that far ahead. So, Oh, I didn't know you were 12. 14 and a half. Okay, sorry. I've had my period for three years. <laughs> wow. I'm a full s- woman. Yes. <laughs> sorry, I'm back. I'm, 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 I'm sidetracking. Sidetrack. <laughs> this is what happens when you bring the comic that has ADD. Um, no, I'm just really scared because we just watched this whole movie about pedophiles, and you're like, oh, I'm 14. <laughs> I'm trying to stay in the, the, the culture of the, 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 the night. No. That, is, that was the sickest shit I've ever seen, like, but yeah. in a good way. That is terrible. But I think, you know, I think more movies need to be like that. I think there's so many issues. What's funny is I feel like nowadays, like, a lot of these issues that are coming to light, people are like, <gasps> yeah. what? And I think, and that's why I like this movie because the church knew what the fuck was going on. The everybody, knew. everybody knew what everybody the fuck was going knew. on. Just yeah. nobody talked about it. And, and the thing is, a lot of these issues that bring, that are being brought up nowadays, these are not new issues. Yeah. These are things that have been happening for millions and millions of years if the world existed that long. Well, and it's funny too, the thing that they were making the contrast about, like the 90s when they ran some stories and got picketers and basically got mm-hmm. pressure to put it under the table. And then today when no picketers showed up and they mm-hmm. just get tons of victims coming forward. Yeah. Like, yeah, there's a timing thing. Absolutely. It's, sometimes it's just not the right time to... And that is true. Because get people to give a shit. That is, and I, I totally feel that. Because if you think about the 90s, from what I remember from the 90s, yeah, a, a lot of shit was slid. Like, a yeah. lot of shit was passed. Oh, hell a yeah. A lot of shit was passed. People forget. I don't know how they fucking forget this. People forget that the L.A. riots were about police brutality in mm-hmm. black communities mm-hmm. in the 90s. In the 90s. Not too far along. And ago. everybody rioted and burned down the second biggest city in America. Yeah. Or the biggest city. The number one big city. Right. And then it was like, oh, why all of a sudden we have all these police brutality things in 2016 or whatever. It was like... All of a sudden, yeah, it wasn't like a, a, a fashion <laughs> no. line. It was like a real thing. It was like just people were willing to start listening for yeah. some reason. And yeah. also with sexuality too. I remember in yeah. the '90s, sexuality was like if you they showed a nipple on TV, okay, it was music videos, and yeah. TV, cartoons, Bugs Bunny shot a motherfucker in the audience because he was coughing during his set. Like that's the type of shit that we saw in the '80s and the '90s. So. There was so much shit that was like past that we didn't like really think about. Yeah. And I think I think what happened was that stuff went away for a while. Yeah. And now we live in this time where it's like, oh no, that's a problem. Let's speak up about it because we can. You know, I think it is a strength in numbers. So like this this was a slightly pre internet. I mean they made a really big deal at one point about how this was AOL era internet. So like it wasn't the internet we have now where right. you know, like hive mind and mm-hmm. like uh, get that shit fired and you know what I mean? Viral stuff. Yeah. So for them the story having hundreds of victims and dozens of priests gave everybody like the confidence to mm-hmm. say, Yeah, me too, me too. Me right. too, right? Hashtag Absolutely. me too stuff. Yeah. And now like it's that. It's that we can 
suddenly compile the same amount of stuff that they worked a year on over any issue like oh some bad shit's happening here's the and this Mm -hmm. and this and this and this and so it's not like as scary to come out. Yeah, I think we live in a time now where it's like uh, I think before definitely you can pile the nineties faster. Absolutely, the, yeah. The nineties was all about trends and mm-hmm. what was popular and what's not popular. It's not yeah. popular speaking out about things. It's popular speaking about this, not that. I think now people are like, look, this is what's happening with me. Mm-hmm. This is what it is. You can agree, not agree, but this is what it is. And yeah, people are like, yeah, me too. Like, yeah, nineties. I think was all about a celebrity. Mm-hmm. So like, oh, Magic Johnson has AIDS. Mm-hmm. So now we care about AIDS. Right now, it's like if we still weren't talking about AIDS until now, it'd be like somebody throwing hashtag AIDS right. out there, and then like, oh look, a million people have joined in or mm-hmm. whatever, and it's a hundred percent. That pylon, I think, is is it's scary sometimes mm-hmm. because like mob mentality can go wrong. But it's it gets shit like this, what this movie is showing, done so much more efficiently. Like things don't fly anymore. You no, can't, I mean the Me Too movement's a perfect example exactly. of that. And that's why I say when anyone you know we all experience different things: gay, white, black, straight, whatever. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> you should whatever someone talks about. You shouldn't um, act like it doesn't exist. Yes. It, it, as crazy as it sounds to you, mm-hmm. it doesn't mean it's not existing. Like, I tell people a lot of the times that what I experience as a black woman, they're like, mm-hmm. oh, but it's 2019. We had Barack Obama. Racism is not real anymore. It's like, no, bitch, it's very yeah. much alive. But, but, but if I, you don't have to, I, like, I tell my friends all the time, I will never know what it's like to be a gay person. I will never know what it's like to be a transgender. I'll never know what that's like, but if right. some, if my friends that are transgenders and gay and this and the other, if they're telling me their problems, yeah. just respect that. You know, it cuz mm-hmm. just because it wasn't a big thing, it wasn't talked about in the 80s and that doesn't mean it's not a thing. Doesn't exactly. mean that it's not happening. You know what I mean? And I think one of the ways to get people to listen more is that like pylon because yeah, for you sure. know, if if you're kind of sheltered like, I grew up in a suburb mm-hmm. where it's just, I looked around and it was not just white people, but Mormons. I mean, like, oh. literally, I was, yikes, copped in. Yeah. And so, like, as a, you know, I get out and I go to college. I'm like, oh, I made an Asian friend, and a black right. friend, and a, and, a, and a, you know, whatever. Um, and then, like, they'd tell me something, but it's the only story I'd ever heard. Exactly. So yeah. I'd be like, damn, your life sounds messed up. I and feel like, that. How do you deal with that? Exactly. Like, I put it back on them. Yeah. But now you can go to the internet and hear that same story 80 times, mm-hmm. and some of it's big and talked about on the news, yeah. and people are talking about it. And I'm like, okay, now when I hear something like that story, I know it's not just that person who right. messed up life. Mm-hmm. I know that, oh, this is an experience. This is a real that thing, America yeah. has in its system. Yeah. 100%. We need the pile on. The pile on's uncomfortable, mm-hmm. but fuck, who said shit was going to be comfortable all the time. Exactly. You know? Exactly. The pylon usually is reacting to shit that ain't been talked about. Mm. If it hasn't been talked about, that means whoever's doing it has been fucked for a long time. Yes. For a long time. And the people that deny are the ones that are uh, not... Probably they, doing it. Yeah, exactly. Or complicit somehow. They're the ones... Like, I always feel like when people, like, you know, when people are offended by jokes or something, it's because... Yeah. You're probably that racist person I'm talking about. <laughs> it's know? so funny because, like, so, like, the alt-right, right, they, they, they try to do this. They try to get a pylon of, like, white issues. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, you know, our jobs are getting taken, whatever the fuck they talk about. Mm-hmm. Like, <laughs> whatever they talk about. Whatever they talk about. Whatever they makes them mad. Like, right. <laughs> oh, I heard Spanish at the grocery store. Right. Ouch. I'm offended. Mm, my ears. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know. <laughs> And then they throw a, a video out there and it goes like kind of viral in their little like fucking roach nest. Right. But it never goes outside of that because that is not a universal not experience. At all. So like you don't have to fear the pilot. The pilot only takes on yes. when it crosses all these boundaries. A hundred percent. When it gets all these people with completely different backgrounds 100%. and different places going, yeah. It's oh, relatable to everybody. Weird. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. So I think this movie did a great job. I think so too. Of, yeah. Um, Kind of bringing that to the surface. Light. It brought light. It, they brought the spotlight yeah. to, <laughs> to a lot of different, um, just a lot of different things. I mean, sure, it was mostly about you know Catholic priests, yeah, molesting and raping boys, but 
It was about that, but I do think it was about the bigger issue of like, how do you get something that everybody mm-hmm. knows to be acknowledged by everybody? Mm-hmm. Which is a weird fucked up problem we have as a yeah. like, society. You think it'd be, and which is kind of when that when uh, Hulk was like, we need to put this shit out now, and Batman was like, no, we need to chill. It's like a part of me was like, no, let the people know now. But the, like you said, like the yeah. way that people work in the society is like our brains. It's like we. It's 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 about timing. Unfortunately, be, yeah, and it can't be one person. We gotta get we gotta uh, get the whole thing. Yeah, yeah. Ah, yeah. oh, shit. Damn, my brain hurts, but in a good way. <laughs> <laughs> For real, I am so glad you came over. And I am too. I am so glad that Amadeus didn't work because I was not in the mood to watch Mozart. I I was on my way over here. I was like three hours. Damn. I know. I was like, I love Karina, but this may not work out. Today. No, I think that's gonna have to be an afternoon movie mm-hmm. with somebody, some else. other victim, yeah, <laughs> some other, <laughs> somebody else. Get some tea, you know. Yes, like, be to... really on your uh, eighteen hundred shit. Mm. Yeah, get some cleavage out. Mm-hmm. Sounds fun. White powder, <laughs> some powdered wigs. Mm-hmm. That would be a good wig movie. That so would this be is a, good... a wigless movie. This is a wigless movie. This Make... is a movie about snatching wigs Sh- for rip, yeah. man. <laughs> Girl, I'm telling you, my shit would be itching and sweating right now if I had a wig on right now. This is a whole lot. To, it was a whole lot, a whole lot. Of, okay. <laughs> you saw me fucking grabbing my beanie. I like, did. I, I did. was like, oof. I was like, are you going to be able to kiss? It felt like I was going to pop off or Probably. something. Probably. These diamonds ain't real, so. <laughs> shit. One was bound to pop off. This was wild. I'm glad we've painted such a glamorous picture yes. for everybody. If you guys don't know, just look up Google Little Bill. <laughs> Juice the tour beanie. <laughs> oh my God. Leah, do you got anything coming up you want people to know about? What is today? <laughs> uh, it'll be like, yeah, just tell what's going on. Oh, February. well, I just have February, a, February yeah. 7th. Um, mm-hmm. I have my all women's show uh, showcase uh, Call Hear Me Bitch. It's very fun. It is very fun. Karina is an all-star on the show. Um, we love you. Come back whenever you want. Okay. But yeah, it's at Fallout Theater um, at 8 o'clock. And it's a fun, fun show. It's a bunch of women telling stories, life, jokes. Yeah. It's a great time. It is a great time. I have wine sometimes, so. You what sometimes? I, I bring wine. Oh, you bring wine. Sometimes. I thought you said I rhyme sometimes. I'm like, that is- I should. I should just start rapping. Like, you know, I do a little rap. And that's what I was like. Yeah. I was like, do you mean rapping or do you like just speak and rhyme? Like, do you just, like, well, what's the difference? I guess. I think the rhythm. Diff- that's the rhythm. I and like I feel like when you rhyme, there's really a purpose to what you're saying. Mm-hmm. And then when you're just talking like I do, I don't yeah. really have a purpose. I'm just speaking. I was watching. It's. Uh, we're recording this somewhere on Luther King Day, and I was watching speeches because it's what you do when. Mm-hmm. Is that why I'm doing this podcast? Because it's Martha, it, MLK Day? No. I wish you said yes. Uh, I wish you would have said I would have felt so special. <laughs> no, I was trying to schedule this for Wednesday, but Monday worked um, better. Yeah. No, yeah, I was going to like pull The you only in. black woman in Austin. Yeah, yeah she, I was going to pull you in, make you watch Moonlight with me. No, shit. <laughs> <laughs> I worried about Popeyes. No, no, I don't do that. I thought about it because I got to watch Gandhi at some point, and I do not oh, yeah. want to do that with my white ass without somebody, <laughs> without somebody to check me on, on what's going on. <laughs> Keep you level. Yeah, because yeah, I'm like, what the fuck are they doing? Why do they got dots in their heads? I'm going to say some stupid I'm shit. I'm done. Yeah. Oh, that's perfect. Because uh, I know nothing about that culture I feel that. anyway uh what was i talking about okay. you said you wanted to do this on this day because oh i was watching just speeches and the way that like dr king would rap in a weird way like mm-hmm. when he got going and being like it wouldn't be something as a prepared speech or something it would just be like a news interview on nbc and he would just start speaking and it would just like slip into rhyme that is what i wish i could do like i don't need to rap nobody needs to see this rapping that's just <laughs> Fucking it, rapping and dancing are two things that nobody, <laughs> nobody needs to see this forty-year-old woman do. Uh, but I wish I could slip in a rhyme. Like I almost feel it sometimes. When I'm doing comedy. Like if I got this shit rhyming, it'd be a game changer, you know. But it wouldn't be. Like, I think too that's what much. the world needs: a forty-year-old white woman rapping. I've never seen it. I'd be impressed by it. Really? I, I wouldn't. What could you? What bad could you say about a forty-year-old white woman rapping good? I'm like, trying to think. Well, didn't Bl- okay like Debbie Harry? Right? I don't know who that is. So she was she's not the lead good. singer of Blondie. Don't know what that she is. She rapped in the seventies or eighties, late seventies, early eighties. I'm sure she was great. Like, no, she wasn't. What? <laughs> I was trying to support, but <laughs> but yeah, thanks for supporting. I was trying to support. I don't know her. But no, she. But it was famous. It was funny. It was one of the things where it went famous. 
And this was when, like, hip-hop was just entering mm-hmm. the mainstream. You know, like, this was... I don't know. It was weird, though. It was Debbie Harry and the Beastie Boys who got the airplay. Mm. You know what I mean? And, like, this was 80, 81, 82. This is when, like, real shit was going down. Because they had... You gotta have confidence when you rap. It wasn't... Even if it's not the... Hello, Vanilla Ice. That motherfucker has so much damn confidence. There's a 40-year-old white woman. He's probably still rapping. I'm sure he's doing some kind of local shit somewhere. Wasn't he doing like a home renovation show? Like he'd come in and he'd, <laughs> he'd ice your house or something? This is so off topic and you'll probably cut this out, but did you see on uh, Home uh, Makeover? For you saying this reminds me of Home Makeover Edition, whatever the fuck it is. Yeah. It was this black woman and this uh, this black couple. Yeah. And they revealed her eyes and yeah. she was like, hail to the no. Wow. Oh, she was. It was so tacky. She hated the house. She hated the whole house. She's like, no, this shit gotta go. Oh my god! And then the woman was like, oh, but we made you. But she's like, I don't give a fuck. I've always wanted to see that. <laughs> I didn't it happens. Like it happens. It was like it happens when you was. when you do a, a, a forty year old black woman's house. That is when that happens. Was she like, where's my shit? She was like, what the fuck did y'all do? It, it was yeah. trash. It looked the walls looked like like a pediatrician's like. Was it white people? Room. That did her house? Yeah. Of course. Uh, I like, mean, of course, but... Uh, okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, home renovation show, I was assuming... I don't know. Who knows? Uh, yes. Things might be changing on cable. I no, know, it's not. It was, All right, yeah. so it's white people, and did they try too hard? Because they had a black client. They... It looked did they, very... Did the, they try, like, I'm going to try to black it up? The house was very Tyler Perry-ish. Like, it looked like the set of a Tyler Perry special. It really did. It was... It was Wait, they went like it would have been great for Meet the Browns season seven, but it was just like they tried to like Cosby show her house. <laughs> they really did though, <gasps> Karina. That shit hurt me. I was like, oh, this is fucked up. <laughs> they were like, congratulations, you're now a Huxtable. <laughs> and they put, a, but what's so cute? They put a bar in the corner, and the lady was like, "We have a bar here," and, and the chick was like, "Oh yeah, I like that." But this other shit, like I like the alcohol <laughs> home. Oh well, yeah, but this shit gotta go. Some things are universal. Not, not that shit. That shit was it no was the a, bar. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I don't want a bar in my house. I'll just say alcohol is the language, like between, like the yeah, the, what do you call it? The, the only good thing in the world. Boom. Thanks so much. This Thank was so you. much fun. This was great. All right. Uh, listeners, uh, see you next time. Hi, this wasn't a podcast. This was a girls' night, but thank you for joining. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>